dealing with you is a bet. Another successful venture. And you saved the day, too? <laughs> I wish every job was so win-win. Here's the pay. Let me know if you want another assignment. I got a new account for you. This one breaks my heart a little. Because we got a mercenary here. About the good kind. He was an upstanding citizen. He took out loans, paid them on time, every time. And about a year ago, he maxed out his credit and vanished, leaving us with a sizable account in the rears. It took some digging, but we have the name of the planet he's on. Well, almost always, they were business investments. New fancy sidearm, repairing a ship. The guy saw a lot of action. Often he was living a good life, but you hit setbacks in his line of work. We considered him a good investment, a decent, hard-working member of the community. Here you go. I know I keep harping on this, but go easy on the guy. Maybe he's hit some real bad luck. It could happen to any of us, right? I want to raise a pet, but only because an army of skeletons is out of the question. Hey? Sure. Yeah. Find a gal bank teller and deposit all your cards into my bank account. It'll be paid, of course. Eventually. Trying to get a job at gal bank. It's the big building with the word gal bank on it. I'm sorry you feel that way. Anyway, yeah, I'd like to be a banker. It'll be fun. Because magic isn't real, which means I can't be a necromancer. I figured being a soul-sucking banker was the next best thing. Why? Huh, guess we have that in common. All right. I like to paint, I like to crochet, pretty much hate everything else. You're starting to grow on me, though. Like a fungus. But I like mushrooms. Guess that's the third thing. Later. I do. If there is any way I can assist you, together we can to. really make a difference. We have to try. Every time someone skips out, those credits just don't go away. And those are credits that could have been a loan for a mom and pop trying to start a hydroponic farm. Or they could take a bite out of our share prices, I meaning all sorts of retirement funds pay out a little less. Now, I know it seems, well, hopeless, but what we do matters. Absolutely. Gal Bank makes civilization possible. We make sure that our reputation is flawless, so people can depend on us to invest for their future, save up for a new apartment, and just buy some groceries. And true, collections isn't the most glamorous part of the bank, but we all serve our part. Captain, Admiral Logan informed me of your part in halting the attacks. Whole damn city owes you. Now, what do you need? <laughs> okay, didn't see that one coming. No need to say any more. I know what it's about. He's convinced he deserves a promotion, which to him means a transfer, a command post, maybe a new ship and a big office. Do you know him well? What do you think of him? Fair enough. Clearly, patience isn't his strong suit. I thought the constant stream of messages was a bit much, but if he's gonna be sending people here. All right, I received some good advice from someone in the Vanguard recently, and I'm gonna run with it. I'd like you to deliver this message to Bastion on my behalf, the full authority of Vanguard leadership. He's gonna be the first and only recipient of a new commendation. Quite an honor. Hope he appreciates it. 
Please, give him my regards. a matter of time before I get promoted out of here. You look like you've got news. Okay, come on. Don't keep me in suspense. When do I ship out? It's that good? Or, or wait, is it bad? Oh, don't tell me they blew me off. Really? Let's see. Uh, unique in the history of the Vanguard. That's good, right? Okay. Okay, finally some real recognition. Thanks for doing the legwork here. I'm not gonna forget that you helped me out. And someday, when I'm running the Vanguard, I'm gonna make sure you get paid big time. For now, though, my account's a little light, so... This is the best I can do. But but really, I mean it. I'm gonna remember this. grass there and this place might not look so awful. I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. I... You sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real. But I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. I don't know what game you're playing, but I guess I'm in. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacer started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <sighs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. 
No arguments here. The Spacers have taken out the family's list satellites, so we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite, and I'll open a secure channel, and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. List set us up with some secure communication satellites. Makes it hard for Riff Raff to pick us up. Well, in theory. The other families won't respond to communications on open channels. I figure if I didn't risk the distress call, we're all dead anyway. I have. Twice. I took out the old pickup last time I tried, I barely made it out alive. They're using the damn satellites as bait. My ship just isn't up for facing spacers, but yours, a whole different animal. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment, but I actually feel <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks. Communications is up. Sending the data on the other satellites. You do hear me, right? Hello? I figured you might. Not gonna lie, there'll be more of them ahead. It's gonna take some time dealing with someone competent. I don't suppose you want a job working hydroponics. No one ever says yes to that. <laughs> Once you repair the other satellites, I'll open a channel to the other families.
Albin? How the hell? I'm almost glad to hear your voice. Listen, we need to meet, all of us. These spacers have got us on the ropes. What sort of game are you playing? We're not going to fall for another of your cons. No game, no ruse. Times have changed. We need to move on or we'll all be the saddest little footnote in history. We can meet, but it'll be on my ship. Fine. Huh. I closed the call. So that's good old Jackie. Get to the other families. Hopefully they'll give us a better reception.
say it to Jackie. First, I'm pretty sure the spacers got the wind. No contact with them. All of them? My God. Shit. They were good people. They died. Needlessly. Because we couldn't get our act together. That's rich coming from you. You've scammed me time and time again, Albin. The spacers are a threat to us all, Jackie. And that, that is the salient point. Mistakes were made, we need to get past that. What I'm proposing is a mutual defense pact, nothing else. Each of us throws in our ships, men, materials, and whatnot, enough to protect all of our asses. I wouldn't give you one solitary ounce of Helium-3 if my life depended on it. The problem is, it does. I think we all need to cool off. Stranger, a word? First things first. You did an honest day's work, you deserve an honest day's pay. Here, with heartfelt compliments. But I expect you know what's coming next. We're not military folk, and I'm not ashamed to say we are out of our depth. I'll pay you more, much more. If you can help kick the spacers out of our system for good, and coordinate our efforts to do so, <laughs> you, you are something else. So we're not babes in the woods. Each family has a ship or two and hard men and women that can handle themselves in a firefight. But the root of the problem is, admittedly, a self-inflicted injury. My family was here first, and when Lys sent other families here, perhaps I didn't take to it kindly. Might be I made an odd credit here or there at their expense. Something Lemaire especially has never let me live down. But now we need the Lemaires and the Bandas both, I reckon. Listen, I'm not proud of what I did. But this was my system first. Then Jackie comes lately arrives, and maybe it rubbed me wrong. But it's ancient history. We gotta evolve or ward just fuel for the spacers. I wouldn't hold my breath with Jackie. But Band is good folk. Well, hopefully. We need to cooperate now. But also in the future, we need a mutual defense pact. As our new mercenary commander, please talk with Band and Lemaire. Lemaire, God help us, especially we could use. Her family's got the most ships and crew by far. But if she's a lost cause, Ben and I can muddle through. Hello, stranger. Your work in getting the satellites up? You've done us a good turn. I know it was paying work, but a lot of mercs wouldn't even take a list contract. You here to talk about the defense pack? List is long on ideals, but short on credits and, well, sense. Don't get me wrong, they've got the best of intentions, but intentions alone aren't enough. I figured he might. I mean, I agree that right now coming together makes sense, but going forward, it's hard to imagine Jackie and Alvin working together for the long haul without one winding up with a knife in the back. If you can get those stubborn mules to work together, really together, they might be able to see the sense of this defense pack going forward. You say so. Well, the Bandits will join the defense pack. We got one ship operational, another we can patch up. It's not much, but you'll have us when you need us. 
we band together, not only can we deal with the current problem, but future ones as well. So is the defense packed in business? Come on, don't keep me in suspense. I'll be here, fingers. Just so you know, Alban associating with When my crew first arrived, it seemed like the stock machines we bought broke. I swore I... Lucky you then. So here's the deal. If we're gonna ban the smart play... I may not be some sort... Adventure is just a... I'm not afraid. I hadn't considered the financial upside of it. Hmm. Well, you might have a point. Hmm. Fine. Let Alvin know that I'm willing to try this defense pack for now. So is a defense pact in business? Come on, don't keep me in suspense. You convinced Jackie? And now I do believe in miracles. How in the hell did you manage that? Wait, words can do that? Like I said, miracles never cease. So, the sensors have picked up two contact groups, undoubtedly our spacer friends. We don't have many ships, but we can send them with you. Or hold them in reserves, your call. Expect more than you encountered at the satellites. How much more? Hard to say at this distance. You are a wonder to behold. After you deal with the spacers, meet back on my farm. I've got an idea how to find where the spacers are based. So.
kind of place I'd set up an outpost. satellites to triangulate some spacer's chatter. You did what? I'm more than just a pretty face. Anyway, there's an old derelict star station the spacers are using as a base. I mean, there's a real outside chance there's a relay or something there, but these spacers aren't the most savvy of customers. I'm telling you, that's where they're holed up. Couldn't say it better myself. There are undoubtedly a lot of spacers there, both ships and men on the station itself. We need to excise this cancer from our system. Every last one of them. 100% agree. So, oh glorious leader, any words of wisdom or inspiration before we embark? This is it. The big one. We need to bring everything we got to bear. There won't be any do-overs on this one. We'll all be waiting for you to jump in. next. Greetings, Captain.
This? This is the first deep breath I've taken in months. I make no illusions. You did this. And now it's up to us to keep it going. Very diplomatic. It's horseshit, of course. But it sounded nice. The rest of the families and I, well, uh, we chipped in for a reward. I know it's probably a pittance compared to what someone like you makes. But, uh, we're just dirt poor farmers and miners just trying to get by. I think I need to shut up now. Don't want to get... Who the hell knows? We're coming off a victory, so that might buy us a honeymoon period. But maybe, maybe it'll last. Damn you. I, I'm not, yeah, deep breath. If you ever are in this system, you come back and visit. We'll give you a warm welcome for the ages. Responding to hail, you are cleared to dock. Welcome to UC Space. Hello there. Welcome to the Trade Authority. I'm Mars. Our stock may not be as vast as New Atlantis or Sidonia, but I will do my best to see that you leave here satisfied. And seeing as the Trade Authority is the only fully licensed operator for the den, I'm afraid your alternatives are, shall we say, slim. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope this and all future interactions are profitable for both of us. It's very kind of you to offer, but I am currently not in a position to personally require your services. There are, however, likely some trade authority contracts available at the terminal down in the bar. I'm sure you're already aware that the trade authority is quite generous when it comes to completing said contracts. Yes, of course. Was there something you needed? By all means.
did think this place would see a bit more action. I try not to trade in gossip, but if you have any verifiable information, I'm all... Well, I certainly feel that way. The Vanguard pilots don't seem to want to associate with me. And I don't agree with Mr. Romack's views on the colony war. So there are few options left to me. You know, I really thought volunteering for this assignment was going to be the boost to my career that I was looking for. Now I suspect even SSNN has forgotten about me. I could, so long as I don't mind seeming like an abject failure. And I just know that the day after I leave, some giant story will break. That seems to be the way things go. Au revoir, as they say. I asked my boss what they're doing to stop new alien attacks on the city. He said top lines were on it. Sure hope they know what they're doing. I'm on what you call a long-term assignment. Yep. See ya. Oh, hey, don't... You know, that's a... I do stuff at Orville sometimes. Odd jobs. Gotta love bureaucracy, right? Okay, then. Something to report? None of us I'd heard now, that Den wasn't they... quite living up to its old standards, but this... Oh, it's definitely worse than I expected. Hey there. Hey. Ah, uh, man with... Don't worry, I won't ask questions. Well, you're welcome here, so long as I don't hear you disrespecting the United Colony's military. You got a problem with our history or our heroes? And you can find somewhere else to get yourself a drink. Clear? Well, now that depends. You support the UC? Consider yourself a patriot? Now that's what I like to hear. All right, maybe you can help me out. I had some posters made up a while back to remind folks of the good work Ve Victus has done for all of us. Try and push back against all the lies the government tells. I'd put them up here, but that's, uh, caused some friction with the Vanguard pilots. I hate to see them go to waste, though. If a strong-willed, patriotic individual, such as yourself, were to make sure some of them were placed where they could inspire the people of the United Colonies, well... That'd be something. And there'd be some credits in it for anyone helping out the UC. What do you think? I was thinking the well might be a good spot. People down there might be more receptive, don't you think? That's the spirit. All right. Posters are in the back there, and you just let me know when you're done. Tell me something I don't know. You should have seen this place 30 years ago. UC's best and brightest were in and out of here all the time. But then the colony war and... Well, most folks don't like to be honest about that. I ain't one to turn my back on those who saved us in those days. And because I won't dishonor the memory of Ve Victus, business dries up. Ain't my problem that people don't like to face the reality of what happens in wartime. The man was a hero, not a traitor. Oh, he was a brilliant man. He made the tough decisions no one else could. Did what needed to be done, and saved our asses. And when it was over, they turned on him, called him a traitor and executed him. Just shameful. Well, not all of us are just gonna go along with rewriting history. Some of us remember, we saw it happen. Ve Victus sacrificed everything to save the United Colonies. That's what a real hero does. Long live the UC!
should I warm up? Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Pardon. Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? It should. You risked life and limb to earn it. Though I have had my own personal struggles with the United Colonies. I'm happy for you. I really am. <laughs> Congratulations. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. Well, eight. They went extinct a few decades back. A big lumbering thing called an Aceles. Something I'd love to learn more about, if we had the people to look into it. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't... I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait, Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? Well, Kaiser's one of a kind. Special built for the sort of work we did. Dealing with unfriendly beasts in hostile environments. No other robot in the galaxy like him. So did you really manage to track him down? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? That's not funny. Seriously, how'd you find them? No. That's... that's insane. He died. They executed him. They... They faked his death? My entire unit, they threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? And now he's what? An advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? What was so important that they had to keep him alive? Well, they certainly picked an expert, didn't they? He's... alive. Vey Victus is still alive. I don't care if they're using him to solve world hunger. The man is a criminal. How could the UC do something so foolish? I guess it makes sense, though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Vey Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? As long as I live, I'll never understand the loyalty that old bastard elicited. Exactly. Because the UC, they did a lot of terrible things for that man. 
But even knowing they did, knowing that they kept him alive all this time, you know what I feel right now? It's hope. I had no one when I was outside the UC. No red devils, no family. But that old world, where I was no one and my father mattered, that's gone. Thanks to what you and I have done, I have a place again. A purpose. But it's finally one I can be proud of. You and I, we're getting to change what the UC stands for. So I don't care if Vavictus is alive or dead. He can rot for all I care. We're the ones who are making the settled systems and the UC better. Precisely. Because there's nothing we can do about past choices. What we can do is try and make the right ones now. So, let's get back to the business at hand. Now, my father just handing over the information on the research team and Kaiser out of the clear blue, I can't say I trust it. But, if he has something to gain from helping us prevent Terramorph attacks, I'm not seeing it. So while you'll absolutely want to be cautious, what would you think about trying to bring back Kaiser? I'm honestly not sure what his endgame might be. Involving himself in preventing Terramorph attacks after all the damage he's done? Something doesn't add up. But he clearly understands how valuable it'd be to have Kaiser involved in this endeavor. So, I still think it'd be worth looking into. If you're willing. I think it's the right call. But if Kaiser has been out wandering on his own for all this time, you're gonna need a couple things. Now it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase nos belli machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? Oh, it's really not that daunting. So long as he's on a planet with some modicum of civilization, you should be able to cobble together most of what he might need. He is on a planet like that. Right? A battlefield? On Nera? Oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Free Star world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. The colony war saw a lot of hard fighting, but Nera got it the worst. Everything the Free Star Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. When the war finally ended, Swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there of all places? 
I can only guess at. Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into. Detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent. They require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and wounded teammates. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. You know? Then you're looking for Jab. Hey! New model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill. Proprietor. Turn mechs into money mostly, plus selling equipment, information, and supplies to any short-term scrappers that want to take a shot at striking it rich out in the fields. Appreciate it. Took years to get this place self-sustaining. Plenty elbow grease and creativity. Can I get you started on a tab then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits however you want to hike them over. It's kind of an inside joke. Other than the fact that we're the only place out here, the mechs we harvest, they're primarily from a group known as the First Cavalry. Their unit was deployed to break the deadlock on this world during the Colony War. Almost succeeded too, but as you can probably guess, it didn't ultimately work. Left us plenty of scrap to build with, though, so we thought it'd be funny to dedicate this place to the folks that made it possible. 
So they were pretty widely considered the best damn mech unit in the Freestar Militia. Maybe the galaxy. Their leader? Major Paxton Hull. They say he was some kind of tactical genius. Whole damn war, he always seemed to be just one step ahead of the UC. But all that changed here on Nera. The fighting was brutal, apparently. Between the aliens and the UC defenses, most of the first cab was wiped out. They say Hull snapped, that he couldn't handle the loss of so many good soldiers. When the ceasefire order finally came, he ignored it. Said he was too close to victory. And didn't want his people's lives to be sacrificed for nothing. So they caught Marshal Hull and the other survivors of the first. Locked them all up. And that was that. No better selection. Kaiser? Uh, no bot around here with that tag. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. Get you something? I'm pleased to see scrappers disassembling these mechs. Damn war machines are better off being erased from history. Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons. But those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. Right. You mentioned was out there chasing sirens. Well, all right. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I mean, great for him, but that won't keep acetylene in our tanks. And honestly, would you be able to tell if a Terramorph was attacking outside? Sorry. You didn't get this far being that naive. This facility isn't self-sustaining, and you know it. If Terramorph attacks start wrecking cities across the galaxy, no one's coming to help the salvage yard at the tail end of nowhere. We're all in this... together. I... uh... I guess I see your point. Look, I have to make something on this. But I'll lower the price, okay? I'm listening. <sighs> Is this really what we're doing? I do understand. 
I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. You made your point. I'll give you a discount. Pleasure doing business with you. So, last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse, shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open, too. Sirens and ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh. And corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser, our best. Many lives lost when these UC ships were destroyed. Brings back painful memories.
as though it's been picked apart from the inside out. In need of materials? Or just here to have a drink and enjoy the view? Ecliptic are the meanest damn soldiers of fortune in the galaxy. Make the Crimson Fleet seem polite by comparison. You stumble across any out there, you back away slowly, or get ready to kill every last one of them. Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Then let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there. Screaming out there? You were in the other way. It's out of the sirens. I'm pleased to see Scrubbers disassembling those necks. Damn war machines are better off being raised from history.
Nice work. What else are you going to make? Don't forget, whatever else you find in those spots, you sell to me, all right? What I wouldn't give for a fresh tear of blue right now. a real, living Xeno weapon. Why aren't they all wiped out? They will be. Unit 99 has proven a capable adversary. External support, however, seems the most likely path to disarming it. During the Colony War, handling of Unit 99 and its peers were among my personal duties. Deploy Unit 99. Defend Unit 99 against hostile forces. But above all, ensure Unit 99 was never used against non-combatants. When I was separated from the Xeno Warfare team with the Armistice, Unit 99 and its broodmates remained here causing many non-combatant deaths. So I am here to correct my mistake. I have nearly succeeded in disarming their brood. Only Unit 99 remains. Correct. Unit 99 is a siren, a deadly biological specimen deployed to Nera during the Colony War, engineered for combat efficiency. Execution of said specimens is the standard method of Xeno weapon disarmament.
species designation. Secusa Lantanus. Top speed, 78 kilometers per hour. Confirmed kills, 107. Technically, yes. All Xeno weapons have a control interface, which allows them to be given orders. If Unit 99 were to be subdued, I could wipe its interface. This would prevent Unit 99 from ever being used as a weapon again. That would be technically sufficient for the parameters of my mission. However, it is my personal assessment that Nero would be better off with Unit 99 terminated. that gooey mess, right? to decipher a method to access Unit 99's control interface that would allow them to deploy the weapon. This must be prevented at all costs. This is not a secure position. I would urge haste.
I'm in total agreement. A frontal assault sounds like it's in order. Moving out. Service is now complete. Unit 99. Mine, however, continues. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanan is involved. A plague of Terrahorf attacks. That is disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there. Wonder where this will all lead. I'll only carry the good stuff. Goodbye.
I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Aceles? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Aceles were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Aceles were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. All our data suggests so. Aceles, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt Terramorphs wherever they're hiding. Which is important, because we did some cross-referencing in the Terramorph data. On worlds where Aceles were present, Terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is Terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Aceles are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe, something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Aceles. Well, that's still not a hundred percent, but it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics, so that they stick to the task of cleaning up Terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Well, 
So that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Toleman II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asili's were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asili's were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began, and the key to its end. <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It's dangerous, yes, but Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's gonna put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. It's been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. This is quite an impressive research facility. When it comes to the study of the Terramorph, it's a damn shame that it was necessary to reopen this facility. But someone has to deal with the fact that the Terramorphs have resurfaced. Oh, this goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. It sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city, so, um... Thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? If anyone can pull off something as downright lunatic as that, it's these people. And I'll make sure they've got all the supplies they might need to make it a reality. That's correct. Ran logistics for the Devils for years before getting the assignment here. Military logistics isn't usually thrilling work, but as bone-crushingly exhausting as this job could be, it sure as hell was never dull. 
coordinating habitats for nightmares from the far side of Lantana 8B and their favorite breathing snack foods? Sure, why not? Stocking the UC for a rancher who's got 2,000 great A kilos of biomass he can ship to Mars per week? We call days like that Tuesday. So when I heard things might be opening up again, I put in for my transfer immediately. No more reliable hardware in the galaxy. Could feed a small planet with don't worry. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be... concise. Military grade hardware, everything up to spec.
world is off limits. You are advised to jump to safe harbor immediately. Let me check my logs. <laughs> All right, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. Zeno unit, you're heading to command, far end of the compound. <laughs> 